ng Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Another day, another science terrific episode here in Valenzuela, FB Live. I'm Sir Leslie Acuna from Apollonia Air Profile Elementary School, your FB Live teacher today. Comment the word present followed by your full name and the name of your school. You can freely use our comment box to ask some questions and for you to participate in our discussion. And take your science module, notebook, and ball pen with you for taking down the key points today. Our most essential learning competencies in science six: different techniques in separating mixtures and at the end of our lesson you should be able to investigate the process of separating mixtures through filtration we've learned quite a bit about different methods in separating mixtures Physical separation are used to get back the substance that we mix and to make the substance more useful. Now, sedimentation is the process of allowing undissolved particles to settle out of the suspension under the effect of gravity. After this process, you may now do the process of decantation wherein you may separate the liquid from solid by removing or pouring the liquid layer at the top from the layer of solid or liquid below. Evaporation, on the other hand, is the process in which a liquid transforms into gaseous state from heating, allowing the liquid to evaporate, leaving the solute solid behind. Have you ever wondered how baristas make you a delicious brewed coffee without having the coffee beans mixed in your in to your dreams? Well, wonder no more. Brewed coffee is made by pouring hot water onto ground coffee beans, then allowing to brew. And did you know that there are several methods for doing this, including using a filter paper, a percolator, and a French press. Let's take a closer look. In making a brewed coffee, I must say that using a filter paper is one of the easiest methods we can use. And do you know what do you call this process? Yes, you are right. We call it filtration. Filtration is one of the separation methods 
used to obtain important substance and separate it from the rest. Filtration is the process of separating an insoluble solid from the liquid substance by allowing the liquid to pass through a permeable material that acts as filtering medium. The filtering medium can be a piece of cloth and or a filtering paper. For us to have a clear understanding about this process, let's watch this. In the first cup, let us mix the flour and the water. Stir it. And set aside. Now, let us place the filter paper or coffee filter in the mouth of the second container. And after that, pour all the mixture of flour and water into the container with filter. And let us observe what will happen. The filtration process happens when the mixture passes through the filtering medium. The insoluble solid called residues will be trapped on the filtering medium. While the liquid substances, which is the filtering, has passed through the filter. This method is only applied in suspensions because we all know that suspensions are substances that have particles suspended in another material like liquid. Therefore, it can be filtered by a cloth or filtering paper. Well, aside from brewing coffee, where can we use the filtration process? We can use filtration in our daily life. For example, in cooking spaghetti noodles or other pasta, we can use colander to separate the hot water and the pasta. In our kidney, filtration also happens. How? Kidneys are examples of biological filter. It filters the blood and removes the excess waste. Cars also contain many filters such as oil filter, air filter, and fuel filter. The functions of each filter is to catch 
the impurities. Oil filter removes the dirt in the motor oil. Air filter removes the dust in the air. And fuel filter removes impurities in the fuel. All right. Click the like and heart button below if we already know about filtration. Activity time! Can you help me to complete this paragraph? All right. Let us choose the right words to fill each blank. We have mixtures, uh, residue, filtrate, liquid, filtering medium, and particles. Let's start. Filtration is another process of separating black. Five seconds. The answer is mixtures. Where blank is used to trap insoluble solid particles. Comment down your answer. All right, the answer is residue. And separate it from blank mixtures. Five seconds. Good job. The answer is liquid. Now, the part of the mixture that passes through the filter is called blank. Comment down your answer. The answer is filtrate. And the insoluble solid that get trapped in the filter are called blank. Okay. Five seconds. Time's up. The answer is filtering medium. We can say that filtration is another process of separating mixtures where residue is used to trap insoluble solid particles and separate it from liquid mixtures. The part of the mixture that passes through the filter is called filtering. And the insoluble solid that get trapped in the filter are called filtering medium. You did a great job, grade 6 learners. I am glad that you learned a lot today. So, I think that this is the right time to accept some questions related to our topic. In our hashtag Ask Your Science Teacher Time. So, what are you waiting for? Comment down your questions. Okay, I will give you 10 seconds for you to comment down your questions about filtration. We have one question from our viewer. Sir, in our barangay, we have a lot of water filtering stations. What do water filters Eliminate. Very good question. The exact nature of each water filter can vary from model to model. They don't all get rid 
of the same contaminants. But with the use of multiple layers of filtration and technology, here are some potential contaminants that can be filtered. We have the physical particles, the chlorine, heavy metals, and bacteria. Another question, sir, in relation to the question a while ago, what are some benefits of a water filter system? Excellent question. There are so many advantages that we can get from water filter system. Here are some of those. Convenience, safer drinking water, and money saving. Indeed, time flies so fast. But don't worry, kids. I know that tomorrow you will have your follow up discussion about filtration together with your science teachers in your school. So don't forget to attend your virtual class tomorrow. But before we end our discussion, let us sum up the important points in our lesson. Filtration is the process of separating an insoluble solid from liquid substance by allowing the liquid to pass through a permeable material that acts as filtering medium. The filtration process happens when the mixture passes through the filtering medium. The insoluble solid called residues will be trapped on the filtering medium while the liquid substances filtering has passed through the filter. This method only applied in suspension because these substances have particles suspended in another material like liquid. Therefore, it can be filtered by cloth or filtering paper. For our homework, Answer the activities in your module on page 20. Again, your homework on page 20. Before we end, let me leave you this quotation. Filter all the negativity to produce positive ripples by Cherry Roy Dirksen. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Sir Leslie. Have a great day and stay safe, everyone. See you again next week here in Venezuela, Epilac.